And now a few thoughts about our president abroad and his musings on life after his presidency. A man trying to come to terms, it seems, with the constitutional reality that, well, he can only have two terms. I love my work. But under our Constitution, I cannot run again. I can't run again. I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. But I can't. Well, I'm, I'm a little confused about where the laughter came uh, and where the support really was. But first, I'm a little disturbed that our president found it necessary to say three times that he can't run again. That seems to be a fellow struggling with a frustrating reality, it seems to me. Then I'm a little taken aback by his claim that he's a pretty good president. I know, I should be grateful that his claim isn't more grandiose than just uh, pretty good. But Mr. Obama hasn't been pretty good. In fact, you could argue he's been very much the opposite, the opposite of almost everything he said he would do and would be, the opposite of the image he projected as a candidate Mr. Obama put down Mr. Bush, you may remember, as a unilateralist. Yet Mr. Obama has only proven himself to be an even greater unilateralist, expanding executive power, taking the presidency from the imperial to the authoritarian, and going it alone on illegal immigration, trade, ruling by fiat. President Obama vowed to regain respect from the world, yet his administration is a laughingstock all around the world being played for a fool by Iran, Russia, China, and of course Mexico and the rest of this hemisphere. In his 2008 campaign, Mr. Obama presented himself as the great uniter. He's turned out to be the great divider. During his tenure, race relations have profoundly worsened. Nearly six in 10 Americans now say race relations in this country are bad. Mr. Obama promised his administration would be the most open and transparent. It has been the least such defying Congress and the news media and denying access to government records at an unprecedented rate and level. But his most frightening statement today, his claim that he could win a third term. Why is it so frightening? Because it's so much closer to the truth than anything else he said today. Mr. Obama and our national liberal media are allies. And 40% of the electorate follows Obama, it seems, blindly all of whom seem to care little about the direction in which he is leading us all. The Constitution is all that stands between this president and a third term, and frankly, I've never been more afraid that our Constitution is in peril. Our quotation of the evening, as you might suppose, on the Constitution and the words of Abraham Lincoln, who said, We the people are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert the Constitution. I have another fear. There seem to be so many such men.